Versus what would you? Oh yeah, let's talk about the herpes. People is talking about herpes and stuff like that. Like your members are having herpes. What's up with that? Talk about that. Clear that out. Uh, many of my members were diagnosed with herpes, but they do not have herpes anymore. They, they, they were diagnosed with herpes, but they do not have herpes. Now, how did they begin to get herpes? Like from each other, from sexual presence, from, you know, kissing and all of this stuff. How did they get herpes, brother? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. So you're saying they came into the movement with herpes or they got it since they've been on your, no, under they your wing? At one time in their life, they were diagnosed with herpes. Uh huh. That they don't have herpes. Okay. Now, how do you go about education? Your son. Kawala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Bashim Rekha Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akims out there. Akwa. That's rehearsing these laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. This is no saint left behind. I'm coming to you with a little lesson, man. This is about this uh, this dude, Nature Boy. And, you know, he's 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 all jacked up in the head. I guess he was a, he into Egyptology and Christianity. It's all mixed up together with this guy. You know, when you see these women on here, it's like four of them. There's one behind them. I think in uh, three of them, these three, I think. I don't know if it's three or four. These are his wives. I think two of them pregnant, all right? And this dude, man, all of them got herpes. That's why he said your members had herpes, you know? And he said they don't have it no more. But um, they haven't been diagnosed. I mean, they haven't been treated. So the, the members still have still got herpes. And they, they, they got like a sex ring going on with this dude, Nature Boy. And uh, I'm just going to, you know, just, just to show you, man, how... The most high is turning these people into madness, man. You know, because they want to do their own thing. And uh, I'm just going to show you, man, that a lot these people are bugged all the way out, man. These jokers are homosexuals, man, as well. And not even, and they don't even call it homosexuality. You know, they cover it up, calling it something else. And so, you know, we're going to get into this thing, man. And I'm going to just read this scripture right quick first. And we're going to go into it, man. It says, and this is Romans 26, for this, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections. It said the Most High Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections. Vile affections is just disgusting things, man. And it says like, for even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. Verse 27, and likewise also the men Leaving the nature use, the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error which was met. Now that's the part I want. It says, and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error which was met. So the Most High said, because of you know, uh, a man, you know, going into each other anuses, you know, and um, women with women that that those uh, homosexual acts cause them to have the diseases, the sickness and the turmoil in their life because of their actions. All right. And I, I read this scripture first because I'm going to play this video and I'm going to show you some things. I'm going to show you. What he just admitted, he already admitted they all got herpes. All right, that's something else. Now, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to get into something, and then I'm going to go to another dude. This dude right here, Nico, uh, Nico, whatever his name is. He was in this camp with uh, Nature Boy too. He was one of what they call a reflection or whatever, carbonation or reflection, whatever they call himself. He was with them too. And I'm going to let you hear his confession, but first let me play this right here first about what Nature Boy said. All right, so y'all got to watch out, man, for the cult leaders, man. And these, I mean, they just evil niggas, man. Y'all need to gotta watch out for the evil niggas. And y'all need to come back to Yahweh, man, while Yahweh shy. Rehearse these laws, statutes, commandments, and get yourself together, man. 
Because there's some sickness out here in the most high gonna, he's gonna make sure that y'all fall into it, man. I'm telling you. Listen. Yeah, this, this is Ken calling from Dallas. All right. What's going on, Ken? From Dallas, what's happening, man? What's on your mind? What's going on? What's going on, my brother? Peace, peace and love to both of y'all. Peace and love. Uh, peace and your boy, man. I just got a question. Go ahead. And so that's a, a, a sort of question. So first, um, I know you, I know you asked Nature Boy if he ever went down on a man, but has he ever had sexual intercourse with a man? That's uh -oh. the question I want to know. And um, other than that, it's just... As far as, uh, I mean, I, I show love, but I'll be honest, man, like me, I show love to all my country's brothers, you know what I mean? We on Facebook, and is it manly to send a heart to a man in a message when you respond to a story or anything like that? Or if you're playing chess, right? We're playing chess. Do you tell a man that he has a beautiful smile? I mean, I understand where Nature Boy's coming from. I mean, but, but these are the things that, that, that he says. And I don't see, I mean, as, as a man, you know, I don't, as, as you say, Sonetta, we respect, uh, you know, men for who we are, but you're not, you're not going to tell another man that he got a beautiful smile and, you know, you're not really going to come off. No, no, men don't talk like that, but I don't know. I don't know if Nature Boy talk like that, but we'll find out right when he no, answers no, this no, question. No, okay, no, no, let me, let me say straight up. No, this is, this is what Nature Boy has said. And I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying exactly what okay. is, You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this has been from back in the day. We're playing a little chess on the, on the what, where's the friend, my brother? All right. You know on, on the Facebook, you know, you got friends. Before you go, let me ask Nature game. Boy, are you clear with the question, my brother Nature Boy? The first question he asks you, right? the first question he asks you is, have you ever had sexual intercourse with a man? With a male, yes, I have. Hold up. You had sexual intercourse with another man, Nature Boy? Yeah. And you say you're not gay, Nature Boy? No, I'm so, not. Hold up. I'm, I'm confused, bro. I'm confused. Like, what does gay mean to you? Like, what is gay to you, brother? What that mean? Do you know what being gay got, is and what I'm gay not, is I'm not? not? Yeah, I do. So what is gay? What is What is gay, man? If you are if you are sexually attracted to a man, no, no, that's not what gay is, brother. That's not what it is. Just because you're sexually attractive, yes, that's one of the stages. But also, when you are having sexual intercourse, really, um, I wouldn't say sexual. I would say masturbation with another man, brother. That is also gay nature. Well, then I'm gay. Oh man! Wow. So what's what's the next question you have, my brother? So you see, he just admit that he gay. And if you watch this interview, this side there, the interview with this cat, I mean, he's talking about he doesn't he done have sex with the dudes in the camp in, in his little coat camp. You know, he's sexing the women. And uh, I mean, this 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 is crazy, man. Let's go back to the scripture. All right, and it says verse twenty seven. No, verse twenty six, Romans one twenty six. For this cause. Yahweh gave them up unto vile affection, man. The Most High had gave them up to vile affection. And I'm going to read you why. Let's go to Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. See, this is an unclean act. And the Most High gave them up to that, man, because they're wicked, man, and they want to practice this. So he let them do it. Through the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. That's a dishonor for a man to be with a man and a woman to be with a woman. Listen what 25 say. Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie? Who said it was okay for a man to be with a man, a woman to be with a woman? And this man is leading people. People are following this cat, man. And, and then when they go in, wherever they be at, living in the woods, Man, these men are having sex with each other and with these women. So they already said they got herpes. Now I'm going to let you listen to a dude who said he had AIDS. Now all these diseases is coming because, let's go to Romans 27. Romans chapter 1 verse 27, uh, towards the bottom. 
He says, well, I'm going to read 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one to another. Men with men working that which is unseemly, which means unseemly, y'all. And receiving in themselves that recompense, that recompense of their error, which was met, means they getting their reward in their flesh, man. Which is, they got herpes. And listen to this one. He just admitted he was gay. Now listen to this dude right here, which was also hanging out with them. I guess he's, he done left now. But listen to him. He was with them at one time. He done left now. I mean, I've had my shares where I've had unprotected sex and not told the other entity, the other person, about my... This nigga telling my entity. You hear this, man? Ah, boy. Just listen to this. Status. And did I do it on purpose? I can say, yeah. Yeah, a part of me did do it on purpose. So you hear him? He's saying that he none had sex with men. He probably done hit some of them women or the two, but he did it on purpose. He's perfectly, per personally passing around AIDS. All right? And Nature Boy admitted that he sleep with men. Now, this dude right here was with them at one point in the time. And he have AIDS. So do all of them have AIDS in herpes? That's a question, man. Listen. Because whoever gave it to me, I gave it to myself. Whoever... Whoever gave me HIV, in my mind, did it to me without my acknowledgement, without my consent. I was given HIV without my consent. That being said, do you really think I'm going to disclose my, my status? So he says somebody gave him HIV without him knowing, but he's not going to disclose that he have HIV, so he's going to pass it around. Now, that's this verse right here, uh, Romans 1 and 27, towards the end. And receiving in themselves that recompense, that payment of their error, which was met. All right? Which was met. <laughs> Boy, this is wicked. The Most High is, is destroying these people, man. And he is allowing people to catch these AIDS that's going to kill them. They're going to die a slow death. Of what I was allegedly diagnosed as. Do you really think I will die, disclose that information with you? I don't even know you. I most likely will never even see you again. Do you really think I will want to disclose with you my life, my health status? No, absolutely not, because I don't know you. I don't know you, this connection of of you and I having sex so instantaneous and we've never even seen each other for the, this is the first time we have met, but yet we're already having sex. It's such a shallow connection. And you think I'm going to want to tell you about my status. So he's saying that when he meet guys, as soon as he meets them, the same day he sleeps with these guys and he know he's never going to see these guys again. So he don't tell them. He just sleeping with different guys. And you got these niggas out there. Now, woman, if you got a nigga that like to screw you in your ass, hey, you better get away from him. I'm telling you. You better get away from him. If he like to penetrate your booty hole, I know y'all women like that, which is against, all that's against the most high, man. That's an exit. That's homosexuality. The woman has a vagina, which is, a, which is something that you enter in. Their vagina is not there for nothing. Only thing that goes in there is a penis, and the only thing that come out is a baby or the nut that he shot up in there or when her cycle come on. That's it. That's it. It's made to be penetrated, not your butt. So if you're dealing with a man that likes to penetrate your butt, and women, if you like to have your butt penetrated, you need to stop that because that causes diseases. You bust, you bust blood vessels in your butt. You can The man still can catch HIV from screwing you in your butt and herpes and other diseases. A man can still catch that in a woman too by a man sleeping with a woman in her butt. Cause just, just go search it out, man. It's crazy. Search it out. Because when he penetrates you, it bloods blood vessels, man, and sicknesses and diseases and all that comes through there, man. 
I'm telling you, he, it's not just with a man, it's with a woman too. You can still catch these diseases. So y'all need to quit that wicked act. And if you got a man that likes that, I advise you to get away from that nigga, man. Because eventually he going to hit a man in his butt. You get drunk one night like this dude. He letting these niggas hit him in his butt. Don't even know him. Don't even know their name. And he going on about their business. I'm telling you, man, y'all better get away from that junk. Repent now, man. Get real. You hear what he said? Get real. Repent now. He's not going to disclose to you. They're not exclosing to you their statuses, man. It's a lot of people that has this stuff. So y'all better get yourselves together, man. All right, let's read this. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not enter the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Now, the unrighteous, man, those who are not rehearsing the law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability and calling on Yahweh, the Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai, you're not going to enter into the kingdom. Neither fornicators that serving other gods, nor idolaters, the same thing, nor adulterers, sleeping with other men and women and women uh, 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 cheating on a man, nor effeminate, even men that's acting like that they have women tendencies. He's not gay, he had women tendencies. And vice versa, a masculine woman. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor homosexual acts. is not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. So with that being said, I ask you to repent now and call on Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. All right? Shalom, Israel.